What's up guys? So if you've been following me, you know that I just got a Tesla for my birthday. And they had an option where you could purchase the self-driving package for $10,000. But you know, I didn't end up getting it and I'm sure a lot of people didn't get it. But now they actually have a subscription. And with the subscription, you can do it monthly and cancel at any time. So guess what? I got it and I got the subscription because I want to try out all the new features. One of the coolest features that they have is something called summon where you can summon your car. Let's say you're at the front of the grocery store and it's raining and you want to get your car over. You can actually summon your car to the front of the store. So I'm going to be testing that out today. So come along. Okay, so experiment number one. I'm here at my local Publix and I'm gonna go ahead and summon the car to the front. We wanna see if it actually pulls up. So I get inside of the Tesla app and then I click summon and it's gonna connect to the vehicle. And so there are actually three different types of summon. You have forward, reverse, and smart summon. Now, why would you use forward or reverse? Let's just say you're in a really tight spot and somebody park so close that you can't get into your car, that would be a really good idea. You can actually reverse the car out so that you can get into the car. But I'm gonna use Smart Summon so that it can locate me and pull up to the front of the store. So it looks like the car kind of pulls up into the middle of the road. So let me hurry up and get inside the car so I can move it out the way. <laughs> okay guys, that was experiment number one. Now, you saw that it did pull up to me, but it was in the center of the road. And I think the reason why that happened is because it is sensing this curb and that curb. And you can see there are no lines in the middle of the road. With the auto steering, it senses both lines in the road so that the car stays in the center. So since there was no line, I think that's what happened, why it ended up in the middle. Experiment number two, I went ahead and I parked the car between two cars and we're gonna see how it does pulling out of the space. All right, so I'm back in the Tesla app and I'm gonna do this smart summon. Okay, so that was experiment number two. So when it was pulling out, it was definitely more cautious. It took time to back up out of the spot. But one thing that I noticed, and this was pretty big, is that it rolled through the stop sign. It did not come to a complete stop at the stop sign. And with the autopilot, it recognizes stop sign. So I'm wondering why it did not stop. All right, so I noticed somebody was in the parking lot and I didn't want to interfere with them, so I let go of the summon button. That is an option so that if you want the car to come to a complete stop, you just let it go and the car will just stay right where it is. And that's a good feature because if you wanted the car to stop and you see something happening, of course the car is safe and it should not hit anyone, but at least you can take your finger off of that button and the car will come to a complete stop. Okay, so before we get to experiment number three, while I'm in the car, I'm noticing there's a lot of parallel parked cars over here. And that is a part of the package where you can pull up between two cars and it should parallel park. So I think I'm gonna give that a shot right now. I need to find two cars parallel parked with a space in between so I could test this out. 
Okay, so we're pulling up on these two cars right here. And I know that I'm supposed to pull up next to the first car. Let's see what happens on the screen. All right, I see that the car is moved forward. Okay, a P is supposed to pop up. Okay, how much further do I go up? <laughs> Working. All right, guys, I am not sure why the P is not popping up, but if you've done it before and maybe you can help me out, comment below and let me know if I'm doing it wrong. Just help me out here because the P is not popping up, so I'm not sure why it's not popping up for me. Let me know if it worked for you. Okay, so we're at experiment number three. We moved to a park and I parked the car about I would say two blocks, would you call it blocks? So we parked it two blocks away and I'm gonna see if it can come from a distance. So I'm gonna summon it and then I'm gonna try the third row. It says, please move closer to your vehicle. Hmm, how close? Oh, okay, so this is pretty cool. It gives you a radius, I'm right here, and it gives you a radius of how much closer you need to be to the vehicle so that you can summon it. So that makes sense. Oh. Now it says press start. So that pretty much solved experiment number four. It definitely was not gonna go to the next block over. So now that I'm in the range, I can go ahead and summon it. This time it did stop at the stop sign and it did take some time for it to recognize what side of the road that it needed to be on. There are no lines so I think that is an issue with parking lots that don't have lines in it that the car might not recognize what side to be on and it might end up being in the center of the road but it figured it out after so I'll give you a couple points on that one. <laughs> All right so Done. I just thought about something. What? Do you want to be my crash test dummy? I'm ready to die for you. You ready to die for me? I'm ready. You sure? I think so, yeah. Okay, so I just thought about something. You can summon the car, mm -hmm. so we did all that. But can you summon the car with somebody in it? Like in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat? Or in the back seat? I don't know. Let's try all of them. Let's try that. All, all right. right. Let's see. I'm going to park. Let's see if we can summon the car with Jenny in the car. Experiment number four. It worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> That's pretty cool, y'all. So, if it's raining and your kids are in the car and you just want to summon the car to the front of the store, it works. <laughs> what are you doing? Do me a favor. Just stop and make sure that you're following me on all your favorite social media platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video.